Hello, hello. Glad to have you on. If you can hear me, just chat. Um, put yes in the chat box. Let me know that you can hear me loud and clear. I want to make sure you can hear me before um, before I go ahead and go live with this webinar. Let's see. Hey, James, how are you? Great to have you on today. Just let me know if you can hear me in the chat box. Um, I believe I did make it public for everybody to go ahead and um, post in there. So I am excited. I'm excited. I am so excited. Well, let me go ahead and share my screen with you all today. Let's get that going. Let me make sure we are good to go. All right. Oh, wrong one. All right. Great, great, great. I'm glad that you can hear me. That is good. All right. So let me know if you can see my screen. Let me know if you can see my screen. And if you can, then we are going to go ahead and get started today. We are going to get started. So I don't want to hold up too much of your time. I promise an, I promise an hour. All right. Great. That is perfect. All right. So I, I promise an hour for you all. And we are going to seriously make this an hour training. I promise. I promise. I promise. All right. Let me post in the group saying that we are about to get started. Okay. All right. So my phone is off and I hope yours is. I hope you got some notes and I'm ready. Hope that you're ready to take some good notes today when it comes to this uh, presentation. So I am going to be teaching you how to create compelling videos that generate leads 24 seven for your business. Okay. My name is Simone Redman. I am a YouTube strategist and a video marketing coach. Okay. Now I do want to let you all know, well, you know what, let me go ahead and pop out the chat so that I can see it while I'm presenting. All right. All right. Welcome, Teresa. How are you? Great. Great morning to you. I know it's like one o'clock in the morning over there in London, but I'm glad to have you on. All right. So I'm going to pop the chat out so that I can see. And we are going to go ahead and get started. Okay. Hey, Teresa, how are you? Okay. So I'm going to be teaching you how to create compelling videos that generate leads 24 seven for your business. Okay. All right. Let me click here. Okay, so here's what you will be learning tonight. And before I do start, I want to let you know, I cannot see the chat until I kind of switch screen. So if you do have a question, just please hold your question to the end. I promise you I will answer them. So what you're going to be learning tonight, all right, you're going to be learning my seven simple steps to create videos that get you massive exposure, help you generate leads for your business and produce signups for your business as well. Okay. You're also going to be learning how to convert those leads that you get from your videos into business and affiliate partners, which is one of my favorite things that I love doing with my business. All right. Um, this is a super easy and simple, super easy and simple ways that you can optimize and promote your videos to your target audience. OK. And you're also going to be learning my four steps to create massive momentum and results with your videos and how you can do the exact same okay that is what we are going to be learning tonight all right so how to make the most of this training okay i want you to write down at least one question that you are going to have for me and i'm going to answer them at the end of this webinar okay and I want you to put your phone down. I want you to get a piece of paper, get a pen, and I want you to commit to the next 60 minutes, okay? And I also want you to promise yourself that you are going to implement what I'm going to be teaching you because I use this system on a daily basis every time I create a video and it works. So I want you to re promise yourself that you're going to implement it, all right? So who is Simone Redman? Now, I know a lot of you probably saw my video um, within the past couple of days. I know some of you are in my video marketing group, but you're probably like, okay, I know her, but I don't know who she is. So I'm going to introduce myself. Um, I was born and raised in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, if you never heard of Nashville, it's like the country music city uh, capital of the United States. That's what they like to call it. 
Um, and I currently reside right now here in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, which is about four hours away from Nashville. Uh, my main focus is video marketing and branding within the home business industry. And here's a surprising fact that a lot of you do not know. I still work a full-time job. Um, I am a certified pharmacy technician, and this is something that I've been doing since 2013, okay? And I, have, I love it, but it's not, it's not my passion, okay? Um, and I'm an avid traveler. So I actually studied biochemistry at Tennessee State University. That is a historically black um, college and university that I went to here in, um, in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, my ultimate goal, believe it or not, <laughs> was to become a pharmacist. I'm excited about that. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I wanted to be a pharmacist, reasons why I'm a pharmacy technician. Um, but the thing is, is that I was struggling to pay my bills as a full-time student. And I saw the network marketing industry as a great way for me to make some extra cash to kind of pay those bills that were kind of behind. Um, and another random fact, I have a small three-year-old teacup Yorkie. His name is Milano. And you'll see a picture of him in just a moment. So I just wanted to show you all a few pictures of, you know, just me traveling, having fun with my life. Um, this is a picture of my boyfriend and I, my significant other, um, in Cozumel, Mexico last year. And this is me and Jerry Rhino Clark. If you've never heard of him, he is one of the greatest network marketer trainers I have seen on this side of heaven, okay? He is absolutely wonderful. That was me at an event probably about two years ago. Um, this is me on the beach in California. That picture behind there is actually me in New York <laughs> with the uh, Empire State Building, but I forgot to fix the slide, so we won't worry about that picture. Um, that's me and Terry Grimaud. I really didn't fix the pictures, you all, so I do apologize about that. Um, this is me and Elvis and Marilyn Monroe on the Hollywood Boulevard in California. Uh, this is my sister and I with a famous comedian. His name is Gary Owen. Um, two wonderful police officers in Rockefeller Center in New York. <laughs> a Secret Service officer in Washington, D.C. I, I have a thing for police officers. Don't. Don't judge me on it, okay? <laughs> uh, this is a few of my friends here. We were hanging out in, um, in Nashville in my hometown. So that was a fun night. And there's my little baby. His name is Milano. His name is Milano. So that's, that's the baby there. <laughs> that's my little one. Okay. So why should you be listening to me? Right? So I know you're like, okay, who is she? I know who she is now. Okay. Why should I be listening to her? Okay. Well, I started my network marketing career in 2013. And I have been recognized as being in the top 10% of my primary company. And I still hold that position today. Um, it's very, very fun. I never thought I'd be able to get there. Uh, I've created my own products to help others excel in video marketing, as well as branding and social media tips. I've also created my own brand within my whole uh, branding name, which is Success Tips by Simone. And it's geared towards helping entrepreneurs grow within their own perspective brands. So I give you tips on how to grow your business and you just take it however you feel. If you're building something like brick and mortar, you just take it that way. You know, it's, that's what I do. And believe it or not, I consider myself an author. I came, I became a first-time author in July of 2016, almost, almost a year ago, by releasing my first book titled How to Create Videos That Get Results. Very simple. Okay, so I want to ask you a few questions, all right? So, and I want you to chat, you know, put this in the chat box too, because so I'm going to be checking the chat box. Um, how would it feel to constantly have people asking you what business you're in because they were interested in working for in working with you how would that feel to you how would that feel okay if you can you still hear me teresa i just want to make sure before i keep going okay good all right so just let me know in the chat box you all how would that feel to constantly have people asking you what business you're in because they were interested in working with you. How would that make you feel? 
They make you feel great, but they make you excited because you're like, wow, I got somebody who is like a lead and they want to come and join me in my business, right? That is, that is amazing. It's very amazing. So the next one, how would you feel if you learned how to leverage video that helps you generate consistent leads and sales? How would that make you feel? All right. I just want you to think about that one. How would that make you feel? And how would it feel if you could get signups in your business from people that actually saw your videos because they were searching for it on Google? That is the best part. So I just want you to think about that. How would that make you feel? Okay. So you're going to discover how to make this a reality with my seven part formula from my unlimited video leads and profits course. Okay. So I want to know. Now, these are the questions that I really want you to answer, okay? Have you ever tried making a video? And you just type yes or no. You don't have to, you know, go all out. How, have you ever tried to make a video? Yes, Teresa, I I know, I've seen your videos. (laughs) No, okay, all right. And that's okay, and that's definitely okay. Definitely okay if you have it. So, my next question to you, uh uh-oh. Have you been happy with the results that you've gotten from your videos if you have made videos in the past? Just let me know in the chat box. Are you are you okay with your okay? So you said not always. Okay, understandable. Okay. So let's see. What is my next question to you? So if your answer is no, I want you to think about how much this is costing you in your business. Okay, I really want you to think about that because here's the thing when it comes to video and when it comes to your business, you want to be the go to guru in your niche. That's what we're all here for. That's what we all want to strive for. We want to be that person, whatever niche it is. And we want say if you're doing social media or whatever, and you can say, I want to be the person that people think of instantly when it comes to social media. Video can help you become that, okay? And you also want to be able to create content that converts 24-7 while you sleep. And videos are that way, is the way to do that, to be honest with you. Videos are the way. So why video marketing? Okay, we're going to get into some stats. So it creates higher engagement. If you haven't noticed, even when you do like uh, Facebook ads, if you are, if you have tried Facebook ads, you actually get a lower cost per click with video than like post, picture posts and everything because you get higher engagement. People are wanting to watch it. Um, it builds faster trust and rapport. It can be extremely search friendly, especially with YouTube. You can type in and make sure your titles are all optimized and everything. And people can find you on Google. That's the best thing about it in YouTube. Um, You can reach a lot of people with a small, small budget. Um, I know I put a video ad out maybe about three days ago for like $30 for the entire day. So $10 a day. And I reached more people with that video than I would have with just a regular post. Okay, so it, it works. Um, it conveys messages more powerfully um, because people are wanting, people can actually really understand what you're saying with video. Like they they are consumed by your word. Like they, they're hanging on to every word, All right? It creates leverage for years to come, okay? And 78% of people watch video online every single week. That's powerful, okay? So why video marketing? Well, 70% of marketers claim that video produces more conversions than any other content. And this is from Vidyard. Video drives a 157% increase in organic traffic from search engines. Okay, and this is from Bright Cove. How-to searches, which are my favorite type of videos to do for YouTube. um, Those type of searches are up 70% year after year every single year. And this is from Google and video on a landing page can increase conversions by 80% or more. And I will give you all a tip. And I told y'all in the email, I'm not going to hold back on any information. If you want, if you have a lead offer or if you're creating a lead offer, okay. And I want y'all to write this down. You need to have a video 
on every single lead offer that you do. Why is that? Because people are willing to watch that video and see why they should even opt in. Okay, it's going to be easier for them to opt in instead of you just typing a whole bunch of stuff and there's just pictures and words and they have to sit there and read it. So if you're going to be creating lead magnets, post a video, create a video and have a video on your lead magnet for every single thing that you do. Every single thing. All right, so here are some powerful stats, okay? 90% of users say that using a, or seeing a video about a product is helpful in the decision process. My reason as to why you should be having a video on all your lead magnets. 46% of users take some sort of action after viewing a video ad, okay? And I should have took some pictures of my, of my ad result, but I forgot to put it in here, so it's okay. Um, 1.3 billion people use YouTube. Okay. 1.3 billion. And I am one of those 1.3 billion. I, I love YouTube. YouTube is such a wonderful platform. Okay. So here's the truth, you guys. All right. I am one of those type of people. I'll give you a whole, a whole bunch of information, but I'm going to give you the hard truth. Okay. Here it is. It's 2017. What do I mean by that? If you are not creating videos and you are not doing videos for your business, you are doing a disservice to you, to the people who follow you, and to the people who could follow you in the future. You are stunting your own business growth if you are not using video. Video is the best way for you to get known, people to see you, and to get recognized, okay? Now, you have to do it. You have to do it. You have to step out of that comfort zone that you may have and create videos. Because it's 2017, June 2017 at that. Okay, so you have to do that. All right, so now let's take a little picture, a little information of how many people or how much people invest into marketing training. So this is at Georgetown University. Don't ask me where Georgetown is. I know it's in the United States somewhere. Um, but this is a digital marketing course, okay? And they are paying $5,370 for one semester, four months of a college course for $5,370, okay? That's kind of a lot. Um, this is for the Stanford Graduate School of Business, and the cost of this program for in for a semester, okay, not for a whole college year, for a semester, eighteen thousand dollars. My goodness. All right, and this is the Harvard Business School, which is the Strategic Marketing Management class. Okay, so this this class actually starts like next week. <laughs> starts next week, twelve thousand five hundred dollars for this one program. Okay, one class. That's crazy. Okay, so before I get into the common myths of video marketing, I just want to see if you are all getting some type of value. So just type yes in the box if you are so far before we keep going. I just want to make sure. I want to make sure you're all getting some value before we keep going. Great. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm proud. I'm proud. All right, great. Hey, Karima, how are you? Great evening to you. All right, so here's some common myths about video marketing. So people think that their videos have to be perfect from start to finish. And I'm here to tell you that is so not true. I don't know how many times I have actually um, edited my videos. Like my videos could be like 30 minutes long, but I, sh I edit them to be about five to seven minutes. So they don't have to be perfect from start to finish. You do not have to finish and start a video and make it perfect and no mistakes. You're not, we're, we're, we're human. We're all going to make mistakes. So you don't have to be that way. Um, like I said, your videos have to be done in one take. I have a previous coach. Okay. A previous coach who will always, always do a video from beginning to end with no stops. Now, not everybody can do that. Simone cannot do that. Okay. So I don't want you to think that your videos have to be that way. Um, people think that the fancier your video is, the more successful you will be. That's not true. Um, I've actually created an Instagram tutorial video that has about 1,400 views on YouTube. And it is the most crappiest video I've ever seen in my life. But I did it. So 
I, I'll have to give you all the link for that too so you can see it. Um, you have to know a lot of technical know-how <laughs> and you don't, okay? Like all of this technical stuff that people teach you about video, you don't have to do it. It's very simple to get started. But of course, if you're gonna be pursuing video marketing like that, then of course you wanna have the technical know-how. But to get started, no, you don't have to have that. Um, people think that you have to have top-notch equipment in your in in order to create your videos. That's a lie, and I'm going to teach you. <laughs> I'm going to teach you what you need to actually start creating your videos. You don't need a lot. You really don't. Um, the most common myth is that the camera adds ten pounds. Um, I've heard of this too, but I've never seen it, you know, be possible or be true. So we're not going to worry about that myth because I don't think that's true. Um, they feel like content is is irrelevant as long as the video looks great. We're going to flip that myth around and say that content has to be relevant, but your video does not have to look fancy like these big top marketers right now. If you are just getting started, it is okay. Your video can look like crap, but as long as your message is what portrays to people and you're giving people value, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Videos are expensive and hard to make. <laughs> Most of you all probably have a video camera right in your hand, right next to you. It's called your cell phone. You can start there. That's exactly where I started. Okay, the more, and people think that the more views you have on your videos, the more success that you will have. So not true, okay? Very not true. So here are some challenges that other people are facing. Um, they don't have a mentor or a coach to help them and guide them along this whole video marketing journey. Um, they're not generating leads, which is a hard thing. I understand. Uh, they're not getting enough engagement on their videos. Okay. And I will tell you this, if you want to get more engagement, number one, create Facebook live videos. Number two, be have a consistent schedule of Facebook live videos. I told you all, I'm not going to hold back on any information tonight. Okay. Um, people are fearful of creating their first video. Very fearful. I know most of the people, not most of the people, probably about three fourths of the people who are in my video marketing mastermind group are fearful of creating a, their first video. Okay. Um, the challenges that other people are facing, you know, talking to unqualified prospects, video marketing changes all of that. Okay. And having no authority. When you create videos and you're talking to people and you're giving them value, that authority starts to happen instantly. As long as you are consistent with it, it'll start to happen. So you're going to be learning some of the stuff that's going to be in my Unlimited Video Leads and Profits course, okay? So here's a testimonial that I wanted to share with you all before we get into everything else. Um, this is from Chris Ford. He is a mindset development coach. Some of you all on this webinar may know who he is. Uh, we just actually finished a coaching session for four months. And this is his testimonial. He said, I would like to thank Simone Redman for helping me and coaching me along the way to realize the importance of video marketing, especially on social media. Simone showed me a lot of different strategies and techniques that's helping me in my affiliate marketing company. I just ranked to the first affiliate rank, and it's all because of the strategy Simone has taught me. I'm very thankful and grateful for what she does with video marketing. So I want to congratulate Chris on actually achieving that first rank, because that's amazing. That's amazing. And doing it all with the power of video, it can happen. Okay, so here are the seven, the seven simple steps, all right, to creating videos that get massive exposure, generate leads, and produce signups in your business, okay? Number one. Just get started and decide to do it no matter what, okay? Take my cardigan off. I'm getting a little warm. All right, so that's what you have to do. Number two, understand your target market and their needs, all right? Number three, you want to map out your content schedule and a strategy. Have a strategy with your marketing business, okay? You want to invest in and learn new strategies that will help your prospects. You want to create videos to share what you've learned, optimize, and promote your video to your target audience, as well as convert your leads through the follow-up process. Okay, that is the seven simple steps. And I'm going to explain those seven simple steps right now. So number one, just get started and decide to do it no matter what. 
with video, you have to take the first step. Okay. You cannot be afraid of creating your first video. Here's what I like to tell people. If you can take a selfie with your, with your phone, then you can easily switch that button to record to the camera and record a video. It's that simple. You can take selfies all day. You can record videos all day. So you have to overcome your fear and excuses. Oh my gosh, people are going to know what I look like. They're going to know how I talk. You know, all, all of those excuses I had, you all, I promise you. With me being from Nashville, people think that, you know, people in Nashville have like a country accent, all this other stuff. I had that fear. I was like, man, I don't want that to come out into my video. I want people to know like, okay, I'm not a country girl. So you have to overcome your fear and excuses. Your story has power. Your story can change somebody's life. Okay, I was at that uh, same marketing event where um, where Terry Grimaud was, and I talked to somebody about my story, about me struggling in the beginning, but video was like my go-to way to be coming to where I'm at now. And somebody signed up in my affiliate company with me that single day because of my story. So I want you to know your story has power and it can change somebody's life, okay? Know that the reward is worth it. When you finish it and you get that end, that end result, it's worth it. You get a sign up, you generate a lead, you get a business partner, that is worth it, okay? The more you do it, the better you'll get, okay? The more that you create videos, the better that you're going to become with those videos. And you have value that can help others. Everybody does. No matter what your niche is, you have something that you can give to others, okay? And uh, my favorite thing, don't worry about other people's opinions. I was creating videos and people were like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? You know, your videos are annoying me. I can't stand seeing them on my Facebook timeline. Okay. And I kept going. I, I didn't care. So I didn't care about people's opinions. That's just how I am. Okay. So number two, you want to understand your target market and their needs. This is very, very, very important. Now, before I go ahead, I just want to see... Have any of you all ever, do you know who your target audience is or do you have an inkling of what your target audience, who, who they are, what they look like, all of those? Does, does anybody have an inkling of who they are trying to target when it comes to their business? You can just type yes or no in the chat box. Okay. All right. Not really. Okay. Well, this slide is for you, Karima. We're going to, we're going to talk about this one. Okay. Definitely going to talk about it because if you have no target audience, you are creating videos for everyone and your business is not for everyone. Okay. You have to figure out who it is that you're targeting and those videos, everything that you do with your business, with marketing, everything is catered to those people. Those are the type of people that you're going to have authority over. Okay. So you have to find out who slash what your target market is. Okay. Are they men? Are they women? I want y'all to take, take these notes because I'm giving you stuff that I give my coaching clients. So are they men? Are they women? How old are they? Do they work a full-time job? Uh, do they have kids? You know, where do they shop at? What type of television shows do they look at? What type of books do they read? Now, the thing is, the thing is, your target audience or your customer avatar, whichever, your customer avatar is going to look just like you. Your target audience is like a broad, general type of people. So your target audience is going to have the same characteristics as a customer avatar. A customer avatar is a single person. Okay, a single person. And normally that customer avatar looks just like you, looks just like you. So give you an example before I go on. My customer avatar, her name is Jessica. She's 26 years old. Um, she works a full time job, but she wants to learn how to grow her business. But she just doesn't know what way is the best way to do it. Okay, she has dabbled in videos, does a little bit of this, does a little bit of that. But she's struggling. 
and she wants to become one of those well-known people that you see online today when it comes to marketing. Okay, perfect example. That's my target. That's my customer avatar. And then my uh, target audience is, you know, men and women between the ages of uh, 22 and 54. Um, they they live in the United States majority. Majorly, I can never say that where you are. <laughs> the majority of them, um, and they do work full time jobs, and they're looking for extra ways of income, and they don't know what to do. So, just kind of give you an idea. So, what jumps? up at you and grabs your attention so whatever jumps up and grabs your attention is something that's probably going to grab your target audience's attention think about it okay and what are their pain points what are they struggling with in business the pain points for my target audience and i'm giving you all examples the pain points of my target audience is uh they are fearful of being on camera uh they're struggling to grow their business they need tips and tools and you know pdfs and ebooks all the other stuff to help them get to where they want to be they they're in a comfort zone and they want to get out of their comfort zone because they know that there's something else within them that's going to push them to where they want to be good example okay so here and i'm here here we are so we're gonna i want you to write this down the six steps to defining your target audience number one who are they Number two, what's their most pressing issue, problem, or desire? Number three, where do they get their information? Where do they learn all of their stuff that they're learning? Okay. What benefit, number four, of your product solves their problem? Number five, what sets off their BS detector? Okay. Not going to say the word, but their BS detector. Number six, who do they trust? Okay. So those are the six steps that you can kind of write down. Um, to defining your target audience. If I am going too fast, believe me, there is going to be a replay of this. So you all can take notes, you know, at your leisure. I just want to make sure that I respect your time. Okay. Number three, you want to map out your content schedule and a strategy. So you have to be prepared. That's number one. Have to be prepared when it comes to mapping out your content schedule and creating your strategy. So if you don't have a game plan, you're not going to do it. You have to have a plan. Okay, what type of videos am I going to create? Who is this for? All this other stuff. If you don't have that, you're not going to do it. So what does your strategy look like? Okay, what does your strategy look like? And how often can you commit to making videos? Now, I want you all to know, I bulk my videos and I create videos in one day because I have a blog and I do a video every single Monday. So therefore, we'll try to do every Monday busy life um so therefore i bulk my videos and create them in one day so that leaves me time to do whatever else i need to do and edit them all in one day and then other days i just have whatever time i need to do um you want to map out your content topics in advance that's something that i do too what is my you know think of the pain points that your audience is having and that is your content for your audience for your videos what actions will you take to grow your audience on your chosen marketing platform? It could be YouTube, it could be Facebook, it could be Instagram, Twitter, uh, oh, oh gosh, <laughs> LinkedIn, I mean, whatever. What actions will you take to grow your audience on your chosen marketing platform? Okay, so I want to give you all another testimonial before we get into the rest of this webinar because we are almost done, to be honest with you all. Um, so this is from Jasmine Malich. Um, one of my favorite people in the world. I, I consider her like a sister. Um, and this is her testimony. And she said, what can I say about Simone Redmond? When I first met her, she was shy when it came to video and marketing. And believe me, you all, I, I was very, very shy. But however, over the past few years, I have seen her take what she has learned and add it to her business and has become a marketing beast. Thank you, Jasmine. I appreciate that testimonial. So just another testimonial to give you all. Uh, number four, number four, you want to invest in and learn new strategies that will help your prospects. Prospects. Oh my gosh, I, I messed that word up, y'all. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so the ILT, or what I like to say, the ILIT, I think. We'll, we'll figure it out. So invest, learn, teach. Okay. I like to say invest, learn, implement, T. 
teach because you want to make sure that you get the same results that you're learning from and then you could teach it to other people. So you want to turn whatever you learn from others into content. Okay. You always want to make sure that you do that. Um, video training and topic ideas that you can get from other marketers. It could be webinars, it could be, you know, PDFs, free ebooks, every type of content that you get from somebody, everything that you download is something that you can teach your audience. I don't want you to think, okay, well, I'm gonna get this PDF and um, I'm gonna look at it, take notes, and that's it. If you have a bunch of notes, just like I do, all of your notes or video content, and that's that's unwritten checks that you have not written to yourself because you have not created content on those videos, created videos on the content. Um, you can do screen share tutorials, such as, you know, showing people how to do things, you know, showing them your screen and recording it, all that great stuff. You can do that. Simple how-to videos are my favorite. Uh, you can do interviews with leaders in your industry, okay? You can also do product demos or reviews. Those are always good to do, especially product demos. Uh, tips and tricks from trainings that you have learned. I know that my affiliate marketing company does a weekly webinar every Wednesday night. And um, anything that you learn from their trainings and you implement it, you can teach it to other people. That's how you become that, that authority, okay? And you can also create lifestyle videos. Those are my favorite too. You know, just to see, people want to see who you are as a person. What is it that you do? You know, because you don't want to seem like you're at your computer all the time every single day, right? That's something that you want to do. And you can do a FAQ, frequently asked questions in your niche. That's a good, good type of video that you can create um, for your audience. Okay, number five, you always want to have a simple video structure, Okay. And you want to keep it simple with your equipment. Keep it very simple. You don't have to go and buy out this DSLR camera for $900 or, you know, get a MacBook Pro for like $1,500. You don't have to do all of that. None of that, you guys. So here is my simple four-step process to creating videos. My favorite thing. Number one, if you are a beginner, okay, if you're a beginner, you want to keep your videos between two to four minutes long, especially if you're kind of new to YouTube. Now, YouTube is a platform to where you can create longer videos and people will have more of a longer attention span. But if you're going to be on Facebook, your videos need to be more of, you know, your videos need to be um, kind of short but value packed. We'll put it that way. Value packed to the point, um, you know, you don't want to be in a live video for like 30 minutes. Like, no way, no way, Jose. Uh, number two, you want to grab their attention immediately and address their pain point. Okay. You always want to do that. So what I do with my videos is I always ask a question before I even introduce who I am. So for instance, last week, um, Gosh, I can't even remember the video that I did. But uh, you want to ask them a question. So say they're struggling with generating leads for their business. So before I even tell them who I am, hey, this is, um, are you struggling with generating leads for your business? Well, I want you to stick around because I'm going to be giving you three ways on how you can generate leads for your business and have an endless supply of them coming to you day after day. Very simple, okay? Uh, you want to have a few bullet points that solves their problem such as, you know, give them those three tips, okay? What are those three tips that you're going to be talking about in your video? And you always want to provide a strong call to action. Most marketers miss this point um, because they just feel like, okay, well, I gave them value. That's all I need to do. You want to have a place to where your viewers on your video, Facebook Live, Facebook Organic Videos, YouTube Videos, whatever, have a place to go. You can have a lead magnet that goes to another video, of course, videos on your lead magnet, and to where they can get something free from you. It could go to an affiliate marketing company. It could go to your network marketing uh, opportunity, whatever. You always want to have a strong call to action. If you don't have any of that, you can always tell them to email you. You can always tell them to message you on Messenger, on Facebook, find you on Facebook, Um you know, that I don't want you to think that, okay, well, I don't have any of that. I don't know how to do a call to action. 
there are still ways that you can do call to actions without having those systems and tools in place if you don't have it. Okay, so before we go on to number six, are you all still getting value tonight? Okay, let's see. Karima says, I have thought about that too. Do you change your outfit for each one? Absolutely. Absolutely. I wear pajama pants every single day. Not every single day, but every time I do a video, I'm wearing pajama pants. And if I bulk my videos, better believe I'm going to find four shirts to wear. Um, four shirts to wear <laughs> while I'm doing my videos. So I do four videos a month. Bam, change my shirts and keep going. So yes, that's a good thing. All right, good. I'm glad you all are getting value. All right, so we got two more steps. Two more, y'all. Two more. So I'm glad you all are getting value from this. I, I really appreciate you all being on with me tonight. This is fun. This is fun. I like this. All right. So the other thing, number five, um, or I guess this is still number five, what equipment is needed to create your videos? Okay. What equipment? Your beautiful cell phone. OMG, yes, you can take selfies all day and you can create videos too. Your cell phone, that's the first thing that you need, okay? Number two, have a personality. Show who you are. The, the person that you are when you hang around your friends and your family is the person that you need to show off into the camera when you're doing your videos, okay? Don't have this, you know, persona like, oh, well, I'm doing this video. I don't have to interact with you. I'm just giving you value. No, show who you are as a person. People will appreciate you so much more when you do that. And the last thing that you need is a beautiful smile. <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful smile, okay? Your cell phone, have a great personality and smile in your videos. You got the perfect video. That's all you need. You don't need all this lighting and all this other stuff. Well, I will say to you, make sure if you don't have all the lighting equipment, which eventually you, you'll get it. But right now, just to start off, be in some daylight. Create videos that aren't, aren't, that aren't in dark places. You want to use natural daylight if you can. If you don't, get like a little lamp and have the lamp shining on your face. You always want to make sure that you have some type of light. But other than that, those are the three things that you need to create perfect videos, y'all. I promise you. All right. So number six, you want to optimize and promote your video to your target audience. Okay. So when it comes to, this is basically for YouTube. Okay. So I'm giving you all some tips, you know, just in case you all start using YouTube, you have this information right now. Um, you want to save your main file as your keyword. Okay. Okay. You also want to include the main keyword in your title description and the tags on YouTube. And since you are live on this webinar, you're also going to get my optimization uh, YouTube sheet, ch uh, cheat sheet, checklist that I'm going to give to you all. So um, just look out for your emails for that too. Uh, you want to make sure that the title is clear but catchy, okay? Like how to create a video or how to do this with Instagram or Facebook, whatever, something. And you want to add the keyword and the relevant keywords as tags. Now, I know this probably doesn't make a whole bunch of sense, but if you are a person who would love to use YouTube, because that's where most of my traffic comes from, this is this is very um, informative, okay? And YouTube also has a thing where it's called lead cards. So you want to use your lead cards to draw attention to a point or to a call to action, okay? They used to have, uh, YouTube used to have annotations. They got rid of them back in May, uh, but you can use lead cards to have people click on your site to go to a lead, uh, a lead capture page or sales page, whatever of your choice. And my favorite thing that most people don't do, you want to create playlists for related topics and videos. And if you're not using YouTube, you can't create playlists on your fan page on Facebook for your videos. Okay. Give me y'all a little nugget. Most people don't know that you can't create playlists for your videos on Facebook. Okay. On your fan page, not on your primary page. And you want to use a custom thumbnail that pops so more people can click on your video so you can get more views, get those leads, and get those subscribers, okay? That is what you want to do. So I'll create another training about YouTube probably within the next two or three weeks. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, another thing, email your list, even if it's super small. 
even if it's super small, even if you have five or 10 people on your list, email them. OK, they are on your list for a reason because they feel that you have value to give. Email them. OK, you want to share on social media. Um, so here's my thing with YouTube and Facebook. OK, give me all some notes, some nuggets. YouTube and Facebook do not like each other at all. They're like night and day, yin, yin and yang. OK, they don't. They don't have a great relationship. So if you are going to be sharing the video that you posted on face, I mean, on uh, YouTube, and you want to put it on Facebook, do not, and I mean do not, click the little YouTube link in the address bar and then post it to Facebook. Number one, nobody's going to see it because of the way the algorithm is on Facebook. It changes every day. Nobody's going to see it. You're not going to get a lot of engagement on that uh, particular video. And you just, a lot of people are just going to react to it. So you want to make sure that you, whatever type of video that you're going to do using your cell phone, upload that file to your computer. Or if you're just going to keep it on your phone, keep it on your phone and just upload the video onto one site. Once it's finished, upload it to the other, whichever one you decide to do. But you cannot just use the YouTube link and put it on Facebook. It's just not going to work. Not going to work out. I tried it. Back in the day, even then, with the algorithm not as complicated as it is, it still didn't work out. So don't do it, okay? So um, you want to run paid traffic. And if you're going to do videos, I'm giving you all some, I'm telling you all, I'm giving you all stuff that I don't even tell other people. So you want to run paid traffic. Now, here's my thing. I have a continuous likes ad going on on my fan page continuously. But what I do is that since I'm already targeting people to me through my likes ad, okay, I also, every time I do like an ad or whatever, I only put the ad out to people who like my page because they're already targeted to me. So there's no point in me wasting extra money trying to get everybody and their, their friends and family trying to attract to my page because I have something going on. That is my secret. I just post everything to the people. I, I run paid traffic to the people who like my page only. That is it. Other than that, it's very simple. Very simple. Um, you also want to put your videos on your blog. Okay. Uh, there is a widget on WordPress, you know, that you can use for YouTube. And it'll allow you to put your video on your blog. It's very simple. And join a group or a syndication tribe. I'm actually a part of like, I want to say four, four syndication groups that um, is amazing to use. And you know, you can post your videos in there. They give you tips and tricks and all this other stuff when it comes to video and um, everything else. So it's really cool. All right, and number seven, you wanna convert your leads to the follow-up process. So 80% of companies do not, do not follow up with their leads, okay? Do not be a part of that 80%. I want you to follow up with your leads, whether it's with Facebook, finding them on Facebook, calling them, picking up the phone, do what you have to do, okay? It takes 12 times for someone to see something before they decide to make a purchase, all right? I want you to think about that. It takes 12 times for someone to see something before they decide to make a purchase. So here are a few simple ways that you can follow up with your leads, okay? Because what? The fortune is in the follow-up. That's why I put that picture there. Um Email follow-up campaigns and broadcast, okay? Emailing your list. Um, you can always do that to create little emails that go out to them. Hey, I saw that you grabbed my ebook. I hope that you're enjoying it. How did you like it? Reply back to this email. Let me know. Something simple like that. You can call or text them. My favorite thing, if you don't want them to use your regular number, use Google Voice. <laughs> Google Voice is my best friend. Um you know, that's a great way if you just don't want to use your personal phone number to call people. Uh, oh, ask open-ended questions versus yes or no. Okay? So you say, how would that feel if you were able to do this? Or, okay, you know, all the other stuff. So you'd want to make sure that you're not asking yes or no questions and asking open-ended questions. And, like I said earlier, if they have no phone number, you want to send a personal email or connect on social media. Okay, it's very simple, you all. So, wow, we finished like nine minutes early. I'm kind of proud of us. So, did you all receive any value from that tonight? 
Let me see. You just type yes in the chat box. And Kareem, I'm about to ask your question. I just want to make sure you all got some type of value from this webinar tonight. This webinar tonight. Okay, great. Great, great, great. I'm glad to see that. Glad to see that. Okay, so you said, what do you mean by playlist? Um, a playlist is that it's it's something that kind of organizes your videos, Karima. And it lets your audience try to find a video that you created. So for instance, say if you put something on YouTube and you have like 100 videos on your channel. And um, they're looking for a particular video, they can't find it. Because they're like, man, all these videos everywhere. I don't know where it's at. So you have a playlist that's, you know, designated for like social media marketing. You have another one for video marketing. Uh, You know, stuff like that. Like, what is it that you're going to be talking about? The topic. And you put that video into a playlist every time you upload it. So therefore, if somebody who is a target audience of yours or in your target audience, and they go to your page and they are looking for a specific type of video that they possibly saw on a video ad or whatever, all of those videos about a certain topic are in that one playlist. So that's what I mean by a playlist. And you can do this on YouTube and Facebook. I'll have to create a training video to show you all that. So that's what that means. All right. Awesome. 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 All right. Great. I'm glad that you all received some value. So I want to know Who's going to be my next success story? Is it you? I hope so. I really hope so, you guys. Who's going to be my next success story? All right. So I want you all to know you can grab the video marketing conversion formula at simondredmond.com slash UVLP. Okay. UVLP. So what is it all about? All right. Well, with this course, it is a six-week online course that we're going to be doing live starting this Thursday. All right, starting this Thursday. So it's going to give you more time. It's going to help you make more, give you more time and make more money. It works in any niche. Okay. Video works in any niche. Um, It's a great way to market any product and it gives you financial freedom, which is, which is something everybody loves. Okay. And it also gives you a competitive advantage over other people other people, over marketers, all that great stuff. So what's included in the course? Well, week one, starting this Thursday, is going to be how you can learn the benefits of video and why you should be using it. Week number two is how to get started with all of this stuff. You got all this information. How do you get started with video? How do you get started with Facebook and YouTube video? All that great stuff. Week number three is going to be some fan page secrets for maximum exposure. Show you how to really leverage that fan page that you may or may have not created. (laughs) Um, Number four or week number four is all about Facebook video. All about Facebook video. Okay. Live videos, organic videos, video ads, everything that you can think of. Number five is your intro to YouTube. Why is YouTube so important to use and why do marketers not use it? Okay. And week number six is how to engage your audience on YouTube. That's it. (laughs) This is a six week live training course that we will be doing every Thursday starting this Thursday. Okay. Haven't set a specific time yet, but we will do it this Thursday. All right. That's a retail value of $1,587. So what's all included in the course? Some of you are already in the group, but I do have a Facebook mastermind community. Um, And with here, you can get access to all of the thriving group entrepreneurs. So you can help and get you the coaching that you want when it comes to your videos. All right. And that's a $97 value as well. So it's a real world value, $6,037. But guess what? You only get this for one single payment of $67. That is it. That is it. This is like five times cheaper than what most marketers pay for live courses. Okay, $67. That is it. That is it. So what if I can make this offer even more incredible for you? Okay. So bonus video number one. This is a bonus. How to rank videos on YouTube. This is something that a lot of people would love to learn. And I'm going to give you my exact process on how I was able to rank one of my videos, a few of my videos actually on the no, number one on Google and YouTube and actually get those leads and every those views, all that great stuff. Okay. 
that's going to be the first bonus when it comes to you purchasing this course. That's what you're going to get. Number two, my top 10 closing scripts, okay? What type of questions I ask my leads to get them to become affiliate partners, coaching clients as well, business partners, all that great stuff, okay? You're also going to get my top 10 closing scripts. Number three, my Facebook audience insights video. You're going to be learning how to post stuff on Facebook on your fan page. What is the best time for you to do it? Okay. And how you can target other people who like other pages to like your stuff and watch your videos. It's very fun. Okay. So that's something that you're also going to get as well. And bonus number four, remember I told you all, I create a like ad, a continuous likes ad for my fan page. You are going to learn my exact process. All of the targets that I use to generate the leads, I mean, generate the likes on my fan page. Okay. Very simple to do. And another bonus that I'm going to give you. So you can create your first video and I'm going to give you my feedback on your videos. Now I want you to know, I'm not going to give you no passive type of criticism either. It's going to be hardcore. I'm going to let you know, hey, you need to do this. Why don't you try doing this? If you do this, it's going to help you, you know, get more views or do all this other stuff. It's going to be hardcore. Like I, I really go in depth into your video and tell you what you should be doing and what you're doing wrong. Okay. So that is a free thing that I will give to you with you purchasing this course. So what, there is a recap. So week one. Of course, you're going to be learning the benefits of video week two, how to get started. Week three, fan page secrets for maximum exposure. Week four, Facebook video. Week five, the intro to YouTube. Week six, how to engage your audience on YouTube. Good Lord, you guys, I didn't think I was giving this much away. <laughs> um, and then you get all the four bonuses and the personal video review. Okay, so. I was going to charge 147 to be honest with you all, but I was like, no, I think I want to kind of give you all a discount and it's only $67, you guys, okay? Just $67 and then you can get started with me and you'll learn everything when it comes to video in a six week live training course that we will do every week for the next six weeks, okay? So I want to thank you all for joining. And as I said, I know I ask, I know I answer questions during the webinar. But do any of you have any questions whatsoever? Anybody have any questions before we, um, before I decide to get off? Any questions that you can think of that you wrote down that you kind of have any other questions about? I'll give you all a few minutes few seconds. How often do I use the course that I just talked to you about? Well, it's something that I, is that, is that what you're asking, James? I just want to make sure before I um, answer your question. How often do I do training? Well, to be honest with y'all, I really save my training for coaching clients. That's that's me. I normally save all of my training for coaching clients, but I do give you some, you know, small trainings on YouTube with my YouTube videos. Um, but this is something that is completely new to me and to you all. Um, I just decided that there were a lot of people who needed my help when it came to video and that I wanted to be able to help them. So therefore, um, this is not something that I do very often, but for the next six weeks, <clears throat> um, on a Thursday, every single week for the next six weeks, this is what we're going to be going over, all of that stuff. So I, I only really save my training for coaching clients, those who are like for real serious about wanting to use video to really grow. Okay, so yeah, so that's how often I do the training. If that's your question, if that's, if that answered your question, hopefully, uh, does anybody else have any questions at all today? Hello, Elaine. How are you? I'm glad that you're on this webinar tonight. Anybody have any questions? Where my chat box go? Okay. 
I just wanted to make sure before I ended this. I'm glad that you all were on. I hope you all got some great, great value tonight. And if you are wanting to learn, you know, participate into that training, it is Simone dredmond.com slash U V as in Victor LP and you can go ahead and purchase it that way and I'll be looking forward to seeing you on Thursday <gasps> yeah girl yeah so if anybody doesn't have any other questions for me tonight I want to say thank you all for attending this webinar gosh this was fun you all I should do this more often um, and if you're not in the Facebook group um, just type in on Facebook, Video Marketing Mastermind. You can go into it. It's a free group. But um, you definitely can get your questions answered when it comes to video and, um, you know, how it can, you know, help you with your business or whatnot. All right. So I do want to thank you all for being on this webinar. And I hope you all have a great rest of your evening. Thank you for sharing it with me. All right. And I'll see you all later. Have a good night.